Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we will discuss desperate modern women and they try to shame men into relationships. And of course, we come every, we come from uh, the point of every, what they put in their dating profiles. And if you look at their dating profiles, they're constantly putting man shaming language in there and think this is the way to get a man. And of course, we all know we read that crap on their profiles. We're going to swipe left. Any self-respecting man is going to swipe left. Let's get into it. So if you're new to the channel or just if you're not, you, you always know this. We start with a great profile. This is the great profile of the day. She is 28 and a pharmacist. She is a gorgeous woman, you know, in a very feminine dress here. She has a degree, doesn't lead with it, wants kids. Totally fine. She's one of the ones that doesn't, she doesn't have much written. So here's her first picture. There's a so uh, you can see her here. She says it's meant to be if you love random vacation, dogs and coffee. Ma'am, that's very fair. You know, again, she is saying random vacation. So yeah, but again, you know, when you're beautiful and you've kept yourself and you're what men want, they might take you on vacation. This is a very professional picture. You know, she's in heels and a dress, you know, a very sensual person. Here's her next picture. Here's one in her car. And then she's, you know, this she's kept in fantastic shape. She works out. She watches what she eats, exactly what we talk about. If you're what men want, you have no problem finding relationships. And that's a great point we're going to talk about today. All these women complaining that they're not in relationships or man shaming or all the crap. If they were relationship a bull, they'd be in a relationship. You know, those women who are very, very relationship, uh, who should be in relationships, get them pretty easily. And these other women don't because they're not what men want. They're full of anger and all this is man shaming language. And here's her final picture. Here's her with her friend. I mean, she's, she's stunning. I mean, she... That she might not be everyone's cup of tea because she, she does work kind of risque things, but uh, I think she's gorgeous and uh, let's give her an ovation. <laughs> now for the nonsense. So she is 52 and a general manager and says, I'm convinced that real men don't exist. How about new? Ma'am, and you know, this is just all wrong, you know, and you can see her up there. She's, uh, you know, she's going to intermix her religious stuff. You know, again, you do you if you're religious, but, you know, intermixing this says she's overweight, not what men want. And, you know, she's gotten to 50 in her 50s now and she's she's angry. She's angry at society for not, you know, and again, she's made these choices. And this is the point of today's episode as well. Women have made all these choices to eat what they want and do what they want and wait wait and wait and not submit and not become a man want and think that in strong and independent is going to get them a man well it doesn't and then they get frustrated and there's her next slide she then says life gold mine is to find my life partner yeah ma'am i mean we all know that women in their 50s want this that you all do want this and they don't get it you know she probably was at one point attractive maybe she you know who knows and here's her final picture she then says, my greatest strength is my greatest strength is my work ethic. And ma'am, you know, you look back here, look, gentlemen, look over her right shoulder. I mean, again, she's got a big mess. She doesn't know domestic skills and she thinks this is the way she's going to find a man. It's just not. And, you know, man shaming men into telling we're not real. It's just it's just disgusting language, frankly. And, you know, we're just men aren't going to put up with it. Let's uh, continue. So she is 53 and calls herself green eyed something. And you can see up there her very heavily filtered face. And I have another picture in the next. Uh, I have one more picture as well. She says new to this place, moved here and love it. Love to do almost anything and love to try new things. OK, ma'am, that's this is fine. Must be young and hard and act the age is just a number or you won't get along with me. OK, now <laughs> she's already starting man shaming going. I want probably a younger guy. You can see it right here that, you know, she's gonna say, oh, well, young at heart. Okay, now she continues. Independent, confident, happy, and kind, but not a BS type person. <laughs> now, she says this language does, gentlemen, right? I'm not a BS person. You see this very heavily filtered picture, and then this is her next picture. So here she is saying, I am not a BS person, but basically has a son, you can't, she looks like an alien. It just you can't make it up and it's like you men it's always on us from these modern women again from modern women not from all women that, that we have to be better they can be whatever they want she's gotten to 53 and now wants a hot guy ma'am you should have secured this man in your 20s you did it the wrong way and that's why you're in this situation because of you not men you're goddamn right let's move on 
she's 29, says about me. I'm convinced y'all are literate or lazy. Not my baby, but I am a mom. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. You see the shaming language? She's not getting guys. Now, she's fairly attractive. I mean, she's tall, but she's not getting the guys she wants. She's probably swiping on Tyrone and Chad and they're not committing to her. Of course they're not, because why would they need to commit to a 29 year old single mom? And they just, they put their frustration out there. And this is again, I've, I have to admit, I only found out about the red pull and about a year ago myself. And I, you know, coming off of the blue pill, learning what that, you know, dealing with these modern women, modern women are so different than actual feminine, more traditional women. They lead with anger, they're frustrated, they just are, you know, society's told them they're all goddesses and queens and they come out with this thing and think they're gonna shame us into dating them and we're not going to do it, absolutely not. It's ridiculous to even do this crap to us. Continue. So she's 44, this is about me. If you don't message first, you're not it. Ma'am, Bumble doesn't work that way, you complete fool. Liar! We continue. Swipe right if you love beach walks, photography, have a wild side, like being roasted, and will <laughs> laugh at life with me. Want to be friend with benefits NSA. Now, so she is saying she wants something casual, which is fine. But also, ma'am, you can see her up there. She's ginormous, an absolutely huge person. And then she's going to sit there in man shame and think this is the way to do it. I hope you're ready. Swipe left if you have painted on eyebrows, say convo or no worries. And if you're extremely political in either, Direction. Stop whining. Ma'am, why would you think? So again, you're not what men want. You're big and overweight. And then you're like, here's the way I'll get a guy. I will shame him into caring about me. It's just not the way to do it. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna not gonna deal with your crap, ma'am. Then she continues. And then says, We'll get along if you're a smart ass fluent and sarcasm. Yeah, it's not what men want, ma'am. Again, we don't want disagreeable, smart ass women. They don't get it. And you know, let's just send her on her way. If you are new to the channel, we always salute uh, as uh, the Godfather did when we send these women on their way. Let's continue. So she's 28 and says about me, I'm here to ruin your life in the best way. Yes, I know I'm curvy. I look at my body every day. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, great, ma'am. <laughs> She's basically saying you. So when put women put this too, and that this is the issue, really, gentlemen, when women put language like this, they're basically saying you need to deal with what I look like. Right. And we're not going to, ma'am. She continues. No, I'm not here for hookups. Now, this is going to be important in a moment, gentlemen. Yes, I can drink you under the table. Let's go somewhere and get to know each other. Chubby queen. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a god. Again, if you're new to the channel, whenever one, when any woman calls themselves a queen, we will always use that meme because it's so stupid. She continues. Need me a golden retriever type. Smiles a lot and is all about me. Oh my God! Who the hell? Cash. Ma'am, yeah, I know you would, but you're not what men want. And she's a single mom. Now she's saying she wants more kids, but she smokes. I mean, she's this is this classic modern woman because here is her pictures. You can see she's another ginormous woman who thinks she's sexy and she's had simp energy. I mean, that's only I, I'm assuming simps come over and you know run through her because they're ridiculous. I don't even, I can't even imagine Tyrone or Chad even dealing with this person, but she then says a pro and con of dating me. I'm sensitive and empathetic, ma'am. I don't believe you. I just, I do not believe anything you just said. You, you don't seem sensitive. You seem entitled. You think you're attractive. And with this, you know, modern woman, green hair and crap, because here's her next picture. That's a huge bitch. Here and her friends sticking their tongue out at us the tattoos, the, the red flags all over and like she's gonna man shame and think this is the way to get a man to commit to her. Well, ma'am, it's not. And this is what's going to happen to you. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she's 33 and a fraud analyst and has her dumb pronouns and says about me, I'm independent, fun, intelligent, and well-versed. Okay, ma'am, 
I don't have time for games or bullshit and I hate having my time wasted. I'm older now and looking for something serious. I love to travel, go eat to plays, festivals, etc. If you not on no bullshit, message me. Oh, hell no. Ma'am, what the hell is this? You really think a high quality man would read this crap and deal with this kind of energy? And you see, she's passed here. The ball, the ball, the ball. No man on earth, earth can, can make you fall. And now, of course, is in, in here. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. And thinks instead of changing herself, she wants men to change. Yeah, and yeah, they're wasting your time because you look like this. The ladies who do watch, we're down to 8%. As we said, if you're, if you're grossly overweight, no one's going to take you seriously. In the same token, tell me all the 350 pound guys that, you know, aren't full of muscle that you, that women take seriously. They're completely ignored. It's just the same thing. The issue is she still has thirsty simps hitting her up for bedroom fun and then she's like why won't a guy commit to me man because you're not relationship material you're not fit feminine friendly you're not what men want and that's on you shaming us into trying to be with you is never going to work no man's gonna be like oh okay you know it's just they're not, they don't get it <laughs> didn't you she's 50 and a secondary teacher has her dumb pronouns as well and says about me not your average lady classy I've been known to say profound but funny things. I'm a good listener. Okay, ma'am, I mean, we don't know any of this. <laughs> she continues. I have a contagious smile at most times and love intelligent conversations. Okay, ma'am, get to the damn point. Although I would love to first to lose at poker, love perfumes and colognes, not the cheap stuff. Please. One million dollars. <clears throat> Now you see her up there too. She is average. She's you, she's got big thick legs up there. And again, going the way to come up, man, is tell it like, why would you end with this? I mean, she almost was fine, but she had to end with some sort of man shaming crap and think this is the way to you know make us into her. Also, you know, telling us she's classy, ma'am. People who tell you you're classy aren't classy. I mean, no, no, you know, I promise. There's no Dupont. Or Rockefeller or some old school money person who walks up to you know at a restaurant like by the way I'm blah 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 Dupont I am classy it's <laughs> so stupid anyway also she's got this I'm a PhD and we don't care about your stupid accomplishments ma'am we do care if you're fit family family you're not let's move on she's 53 and says about me I love to date smart hard-working men that have their own everything with bad grammar uh okay ma'am let's get <laughs> sure He's non-smoker. Okay, he's that's right. She lives. She's gonna list her, her dumb requirements. I hope we're ready. He loves nice things, nice places. He doesn't do drama. Mature, clean, smell good. Have a relationship with God. He's a strong leader, not a follow. He's a real man, wise protector, not afraid to tell people get out of his face. He loves sex every day, wait every second. Patient, compassionate, you all of these things and have laughter. Let's date to get know to know one another. We both single. Why not? Your past behind, ma'am, that just gave me a headache. <laughs> ma'am, you don't get to be more picky at 53. You're well into here. Into the danger zone. And you don't get to sit here and make a big list of requirements. What are you bringing to the table to get a man that's all these things? Again, let's look back at her ridiculous list of crap mature you know leader guy so she wants an alpha guy she's highly attracted to who's also religious of course women put this crap in here they're dumb religion still in their 50s who gives a shit it's so stupid and then compassionate to her and it's it's it, on at the end of the day this is man shaming it's basically what she wants is this and let's you know take a step back she wants a guy to go oh i'm all these things queen i will i will be what you want just to get in her pants and of course that's why they get lied to because guys will just say what they you know want to hear to get into it. and women look by the way women do this way more than men women are way more manipulative than men they will absolutely you know you know gentlemen put it in the comments you've been love bombed and sex bombed by women tons and tons they will absolutely tell you what you want to hear they'll you know f your brains out and then you know get what they want and then yeah and just you can't make it up ma'am it's not gonna happen for you let's continue 
So she's 51, a ship supervisor, and says she went to college. So, you know, she's already got her boss queen energy. She's about me. I'm a real woman looking for an actual man that wants to meet and have real dinner or maybe just a drink or just coffee for friendship and, and relationship. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, <laughs> right, let me tell you we don't care. Yeah, ma'am. You're just all the man shaming, like real woman, real dinner, all this crap, ma'am, because no one's taking you seriously because you're way past your prime and you're shooting above your price range. You're probably swiping on those <laughs> those boys, Chad and Tyrone, our favorites, very attractive men who, of course, are not going to take a 51-year-old woman very seriously unless you look like a damn model, she continues. I know Tinder's. <laughs> sure. How about new? Yeah, Tinder's, okay. Not the best place to meet people that aren't just looking for a hookup, whether you say you are or not, but I believe there are actually some of people that want to meet someone. Ma'am, what is this lecture? <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I am smart. I work a lot. I am a morning person. I have a quick wit. Ma'am, you don't, you're not witty whatsoever. That's a lie and sarcastic at times. I want someone that's actually looking for a long-term relationship and ma'am, I have this for you. Ma'am, see, the way you'll get a man is with honey. It's not vitriol. All you modern women, if you do watch the channel and you know, men, if you want to give some of your gal friends advice, coming at men with your anger, with your boss energy is just going to push us away. We are not going to deal with it. This is what's going to happen to her. Execute order 66. Continue. So she is 50 in residential design and says, something that's non-negotiable for me is mutual respect, honesty, chemistry, no players, no projects, no judging. Been there, done that, waiting on my one. Oh, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. Ma'am, you keep swiping on players, okay? You swipe on the most attractive men in the app and we've talked about, look, I love Chad and Tyrone. They're good guys but they are not always the best relationship partners. She ignores guys probably around her level because she doesn't find them hot and is like now gonna say all this man shaming language. It just, you're just showing your trauma in your, as well, I mean, that's the other thing. When ladies put this crap, and of course, gentlemen, if you ever have language like this, get it out of your dating profiles. When you have, this just tells us you're this. Losers, in other words. Well. Yeah. You just, I can't control my, what I write on my profile and I'm going to sit here in man shame. It just, it's ridiculous. She continues. She then says, I'm convinced that real is rare. Just be authentic. And ma'am, that's real rich with your very heavily filtered picture and makeup on. Oh, good for you. Yeah, ma'am. It's very rich to, you know, and see, we've talked about this on the channel before, you know, men don't wear makeup straight men you know do not wear more makeup so like these women wear all this makeup do all these filters and then go you need to be real you need to be this you need to be you men need to be better you, <laughs> you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up well ma'am we don't good luck to you we continue so she is 52 and her dumb name is red sonia that's from a, that's an old movie and she's now gonna say a bunch of crap i hope you're ready about me i just joined a week ago don't make me regret it yeah we already do man because you're this that's a huge bitch she continues please don't ask what i'm looking for <laughs> bruh what an outrageous question to ask someone what they're looking for on a dating <laughs> god the women they're all right she continues I'm really here to try to connect with someone for dinners, concerts, live music, and some genuine conversation. Yeah, you see, okay, again, I want to point out the man shaming language, genuine conversation. What is genuine conversation, ma'am? Nope. Yeah, she continues. That's where it starts. Not in animals. I don't want kids and I'm very straightforward. Well, I am too, ma'am. You are delusional. She continues. We'll get along with you have no narcissist behavior and are emotionally sound and ma'am now you're in trouble stop the cap i bet when you were younger you ghosted all kinds of guys i bet you absolutely if she was all attractive you know you know you've seen these women in their 20s you saw those women all going in their tens we're all tens we're all gorgeous they they're slapping men off left and right and now she's gonna get to her 50s and get bitter and then try to say stuff like narcissist behavior again 
Who posts most of the stuff on Instagram and on TikTok? Is it men or women? Who posts selfies? At, which, which have you ever looked at a woman's phone when they have like a thousand pictures of themselves and like they're like, oh, I sent this one picture to my friend. Yeah, who's the narcissist around here? Let's just make sure we're clear about that. You're goddamn right. We continue. I'm hoping you have grown kids, if any, no major issues, and you don't stink. <laughs> She really thinks it's the way that to contract men to her. You just, you can't, yeah. And then she says, I guarantee you won't laugh. Yeah, I'm laughing at you, ma'am, because you're ridiculous. You're grossly overweight at, in your 50s going, I need an exceptional man and all this crap and I, you know, I'm funny. Ma'am, you're not funny at all. You're pathetic. Let's continue. She is 46 and says, trying this again. Please message something more than how are you? Spell my name right. <laughs> Ask me out for ice cream. How about new? Ma'am, why do we have to do any of this crap? You, see, ma'am, you get what you get. If men are only hitting you up for bedroom fun, that should tell you something about you, not men. Again, also, they. this is a, another thing with women. Of course, we talk about this on the channel many times. They want constant excitement. It has to be exciting from message one. It has to be, you know, I will whisk you on the trip to the Antarctic and into a, the tundra of the... What the... Ma'am, no. We don't have to do this. Bruh. We can just say hello and then get, you know, then start talking about something, but they want constant excitement. It's how these women are. She's well past the wall and into here. Into the danger zone. But this is even what was really interesting about this picture, lady. This is the next picture. Now she's double fisting a, two, a shot and a drink, has another drink in front of her and says, I'm looking for someone who takes care of himself physically, mentally, and emotionally by Felicia if you drink every day. Liar! <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Oh God, the lack of accountability for modern women. Did... Hang on, I gotta do it. Red alert, all hands to battle stations. <laughs> yeah, also, now if you look too, she's got an engagement ring on her left finger. I don't know if she's still married or what the hell this, this picture's from, if it's from whenever this is, but women are just you men need to be great i could just be a complete lush but you guys can't drink every day you just, sure ma'am let's send her on her way we continue so, oh, this is the final one of the day. She's a lovely person. I hope you're ready for it. So she's 48 year old single mom and she's about me. Please no white men or BS. What a lovely way to start, ma'am. Oh, goodness, I can't believe you're single. She continues. Positive friendships and genuine connections. I'm the introvert that craves to be out only to get out and realize I should have stayed home. My ass stayed, I should have stayed my ass at home. Sorry, her grammar is terrible. Proud mom. Yeah, man, we don't care. I use a walker, so that's a problem for you. So sorry for you. Positive vibes only. Ma'am, this does not seem positive whatsoever. Why Why are you being... First of all, sorry you have to use a walker, but why would you come at men this way and then say positive vibes only? Again, you men need to be better. I can be as negative as possible, but you need to be positive. You can't make it up. Now, she continues. She then says, swipe right if you're an indigenous respectful man that can handle a woman with a belly. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> it's the man shape. Yeah, you need to be something I want and respectful. I can be disrespectful, tell you, you know, man shame you. And then of course you have to love that I'm overweight. <laughs> How about new? But we don't ma'am, we really don't. She continues. She then says something I learned way later than I should have. Stop giving people chances when their actions don't match their words. Ma'am, you're choosing who you match with, match with on this app. Women have tons more choice. They have a huge ice cream store full of flavors and then constantly complain they don't like the ice cream store. What you're basically saying is those men won't commit to you because you have a bad attitude, you're entitled, you're a modern woman with who's angry and then you're overweight. That's why you can't find a relationship. It's not because of men. It's because of you. Woo! 
I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all the support. We're getting tons of views on the channel. I really would appreciate it if you just click that subscribe button right now. It helps me out so much and it's free to do. If you did like the content as well, please get, leave us a like and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.